Hi, I'm Willie with Willie Howe Technology LLC. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about tonight is a problem that multiple people have brought to my attention, a problem that I've run into, and a problem that is easily correctable. And that problem is in the latest version of Unify, when you are trying to import an SSL certificate. Now I'm talking about version 5.9.29. That's where we started running into this problem. If you follow all the steps to my other videos to import an SSL certificate, it fails. And you have to go back and you have to look through the log file. And you can tell looking at the log file that it's a problem with the way the SSL certificate is um, being parsed. Now what I don't know for a hundred, you know, a hundred percent is, is it because of a change in Java or is it because of a change in the program, the Unify program that's written, the uh, ace.jar that we call, is it something that changed in there? So that I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I will show you how you can fix it and how I've fixed it and successfully imported certs since then. So if you can see the screen, I'm pointing at it like you can see it, but if you see the screen, you're going to see an SSL certificate. And if you're familiar with the Komodo files, this is just that add trust external CA root dot CRT. Now, I always add this to the certificate, uh, to the, the key store when I'm importing the certificates. You don't have to import this but I always do. Um, well, I let me take it back. So when you do a Java key store, you may get an error if you don't put this in there. It may not complete successfully. There are other types of web servers. I just did this on a Barracuda, and I did not have to have this. I only had to have the uh, ad, the Komodo ad trust and the Komodo domain validation and then my CA certificate. But I believe that when I did this, that I had to have this for some reason that's triggering my anyway try it out it'll let you know if it doesn't work so how do we fix the problem in the short run all right this certificate you can see is has these returns that go from the end of the line right so there's a return in here and that's what gives it this nice certificate looking form if you look at this, everything's on one line. So what I did was I took the breaks out and put the entire certificate on one line. I did that with both of these. And if you want these files, if you've got a Komodo certificate and you want these particular files, let me know in the comments but you'd have to leave me your email address, so it's better off to just go to my website, fill out the contact form, or to email me, and I will send you the new Komodo files or the Komodo files that are formatted, or you can just do it yourself if you've already got the files. Just go in, and this is how you do it. So I'm at the end of this line, right? So now I hit the delete key. So it deletes the break, and it moves the next line up. So now what I can do is I can just start going to the end of each line and what I'm doing now or the beginning of each line and what I'm doing now is now I'm hitting the backspace key and you can see how it is moving everything up to one line now I'm zoomed in really really far so that you can see this but you can see that it is removing those those breaks or those returns whatever you want to call them and putting everything on one line once you do that with your CA cert and you've done that with your other certificates um, that you need, rerun the import and it should work. If it doesn't, reach out and we'll see if we can figure it out. But um, that was the quickest way. I'm not sure if Ubiquity will address this or not, but this is a way to get it going. So I'm 100% uh, sure this works because I've 100% done it at least twice. So um, once in my lab, once on a, a client, and ran into it a couple other times. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. 
if you need best practice consulting and networking, whether it's wired or wireless, voice over IP, or security, you can go to willyhow.com down there, fill out the contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. If you want to chat with us on Discord, the link is down there. Charlie's our admin. He does an awesome job. If you would like to become a patron on our Patreon page, the link for that is down below. All of our affiliate links are down below along with the Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy any of the gear you see here on the store. Once again, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.